I picked up a torque multiplier so I can take off the rear lug nuts on my 74 Beetle. There's all the parts taken out of the package and it's more parts uh, in Placentia, California. So that I ordered through Amazon, came in pretty quick, so it wasn't supposed to come in until next week and it's it's already here, so maybe that's just Amazon adding some time. But anyway, here's the parts. I'm about to go try it out. You have your plate with your teeth on it. Here's what bolts onto your lug nuts. I believe it's here for the wide five and these two inside for the standard. So you have two different gears that are going to go on there and this large one goes on the standard 12 volt flywheel and it also fits the uh, my 74 my understanding is this smaller gear right here is for the 6 volt flywheel only so it actually comes with a little card they don't have instructions they just send you to YouTube to go watch it there but anyway that's how it comes in cotter pen washer okay here is the torque multiplier actually bolted to the hub as you can see it's got the teeth I have the, sorry for the shaky cam, I'm trying to hold on to the wrench. As you can see, I have the larger of the gears on there. The washer is on the side of the gear. That actually puts it closer, or uh, I should say, further on to the gear. Because originally, when I put it on, I had the this washer that we're looking at right there. I have that washer on the end back here, which pulled the smaller two, uh, excuse me, the smaller gear too far out. And you can see I have my wrench. It's a 7 sixteenths, what goes on there. And this one I just broke off. It, it was actually pretty easy. The only issue I had and it's because it is not connected to the drive shaft, so this whole hub spins freely. Oops. So what I had to do, what I had to do, because it's on the passenger side, <clears throat> my parking brake is broke. So I had to go ask a someone to come help me Basically, they just held up the brake because it doesn't stay. They held up the brake, and that was tight enough for me to start wrenching on there. And it slowly started working its way off. And, and I probably can't see, but there's actually space there now. So I'll be able to zip that one right off. So this tool actually works good. It is a little... It doesn't fit completely snug within the teeth, <clears throat> meaning you have to lean into it a little when you're pulling, or excuse me, when you're tightening the wrench. You have to lean into it a little. If, if you're pulling away, then it, it's just going to pop right off the teeth. I've watched a video where they said, some people said it was skipping, and I think that's the reason is they were pulling away. So as long as you're pulling towards the teeth in that area instead of away, <clears throat> you should be good. So like I said, that popped it off and I've tried everything from heating it up with a torch, multiple, uh, multiple wrenches, pry bars. I I've tried everything. I've tried everything. So I'm glad this worked. Uh, this tool, I picked it up and it was, I think... 110 bucks, a little pricey, but it did exactly what I needed it to do. I wish I would have had it two weeks ago. 
So now that I got those off, I can start working on the brakes and that'll be next.